Hello everyone. Hi, this is Abhishek. In this video, we'll discuss about strict validations. We will learn what is strict validation, how it is configured, how it is used, what the functionality of strict validation. So first of all, let's start with what is strict validations. Strict validations is an API kit router configuration which restrict or limits API call with unwanted attributes like headers or query parameters which are not defined in the API specification or say the main RAML. Now to understand it more better, let us perform a demo. So here we have a RAML with a resource flights, a method, and there are no attributes defined, like there are no headers or query parameters defined over here in the RAML. Now we have generated a flow out of this RAML. So now let us first see how we configured the strict validations. To configure that, we need to select the API kit router, edit the router config. So this is the router configuration window pop-up. So here you can find the options we are getting for strict validations. We have got individual options for both query parameter and headers. So if we select both and apply, then we apply validations on both. Or if we wish, we can apply it to any one of that. Now, if we wish to disable it, simply we can either disable it by using this disable validations option, or what we can do is, we can change it to the default setting the way we got it earlier, like without selecting any option and applying. We also have a partial options where we get three different options. So in this, either we can leave it as auto or we can change it to RAML. Both works, both are fine. So now let us first check by the default setting what we get without enabling any validation. So we'll simply run our application. So by the time it deployed, for the testing purpose, we'll use Postman. I'm using Postman for testing. You can use any other tool. One note with Postman is that Postman have got some hidden headers along with it. So while testing, just manage this uh, hidden headers because this may lead to an issue while testing the strict validation. Like it may not work because of this hidden headers. So just you need to take care of this headers. So now as my API is deployed and we don't have any validation, let us first try with not providing any query parameter or header and check the output. So we are getting the output as we have not defined any attributes inside the RAML and also we are not defining it in the Postman, it is working. Now what if we defined header and query parameter over here? So I'm giving the headers ID and let us provide a query parameter, which is code. So I have got both query parameter and header and let us now hit the API and see the output. Okay, so even though I have not defined any attributes and I am passing it, the API is accessible. Now think of a situation where someone is trying to access your API sending a lot of attributes or query parameters. Now that may lead to an issue where due to a lot of query parameters or headers, the API may get down. So the strict validation come into picture over here where we are extracting something which is not defined in the RAML. Now let us try configuring the strict validation for both query parameters and headers. So we'll enable the validations for both query parameters and headers and we'll apply. I will save the changes and let us now deploy the API and check what happens if even after the validation we provide a query parameter or header to the API. 
sorry ps deployed now now let us go to postman and check so i am providing both the query parameter and header over here and i am hitting the send button now see it's giving us a bad request earlier when we didn't have any validation after providing the query parameter and header also it was working but now it is giving us error now let us go to the api and see the console so the error logs indicates like the parameter code is not defined in ml that means it is restricting the query parameter which is not defined so now let us remove the query parameter and check with just the header so i have dis disabled the query parameter and i am just trying to check with the header so when I pass the header, still it is giving me error. Now let us go to the console and see. It is giving us the message ID header are not defined in RAML and strict header validation property is true. That means it is also not allowing the unwanted header which is not defined to pass through the API. Now let us also disable the header and try. Now it's working when I have not defined any header or query parameter, it is working now. Now let us try by validating any one of the attribute. So I'll stop and first let us try with validating the query parameter. So I will disable the header strict validation. I'll click OK and I will save. I will run the API. So meanwhile, it is getting deployed. Let us make our test ready. So we have a validation on query parameter now. So now I will not enable the header. I will just enable the query parameter and check whether it is allowing or not. The header is disabled. We have just the query parameter enabled and our validation is also on query parameter. So the API is deployed now. Now let us test. It gave me bad request error again. So now if I'll see the console, still it's saying code parameter is not defined in RAML. Now let us switch. Let us disable the code and enable the headers. As we don't have any validation for headers, let us check what happened. It gave me the response as there is no validation for header the validation is only on the query parameter now let us switch the validation now let us put the validation on header and remove it from query parameter we'll save it and we'll run the api now we have the validation on header and not on query parameter and we have enabled the header, the query parameter is disabled. So first let us check with this. So it is deployed. Let us hit our API and it gives us bad request now if we'll check the console it gives us the error message saying that the header id are not defined in ml so now let us switch it again we'll disable header and we'll enable the query parameter and when i hit the api i'm getting the required output because there is no validation on query parameter but the validation is on header now this is how strict validation works and this is what the use of strict validation i hope the video is useful for you thank you happy learning